Greetings, my brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord, Yahshua HaMashiach, our coming King, Jesus Christ. I have a vision that I saw about New York City. This was a while back, um, but the, the Spirit of the Lord is, uh, is reminding me, and I feel like an urgency in my spirit. Um, the vision I saw was an earthquake on the eastern coast. Um... I saw New York City shaking very violently and all of a sudden I saw this massive, massive uh, sinkhole just open up like a mouth and beginning to and begin to swallow uh, New York City whole. Uh, it took place during the night time um, um, and and that was the end of the dream. Um, I know that there are many sinkholes that are beginning to appear in the earth, uh, being reported on news uh, throughout the whole world. Uh, the one that um, that was in Florida, where that a man was sleeping in his bed at night, and in his own in his bedroom. In his bedroom, a sinkhole opened up in his bedroom and swallowed him whole. And to this day, they have not been able to find that man, and they do consider him uh, deceased. Um, we know that there are signs that are taking place in this earth as well as in the heavens. And the Lord said, You will see these things. He warned us ahead of time. And he said these are the beginning of birth pains. And these birth pains are becoming closer and closer as we experience them. Lately, the Lord told me about, I will say, a month ago. He said, prepare uh, to pack. Now, I have had this word spoken to me on many occasions and that means that I'm getting ready to be relocated um, it's been spoken to me uh, when I was at a job or even getting ready to uh, re relocate to another city or another state um, when I first got saved um, back in the 90s this was one of my first words that the Lord told me uh, I'll never forget he told me to start packing um, my my uh, locker at work um, so I start packing out of obedience you know um, the Lord did not tell me where I was going so one day, uh, somebody walked up to me and said, what you doing? I said, well, I'm just packing, uh, cleaning out my drawer. Um, because uh, the Lord told me uh, to do so. And they just kind of rolled their eyes at me. And I just kept on doing what I was doing. And so, um, I think two weeks later, um, out of the blue, I my mother called me and told me that uh, a job was calling. And they was offering me a job. And, and I have not heard from these people in two years. I put in an application to them two years uh, ago. And, um, and they offered me a job with better pay, better benefits. And, and I was being relocated. Um, this is... This has happened um, more than once. Um, I remember packing where I had to move to another house. I was packing ahead of time. Um, I remember packing, also leaving another job. But this time I was being relocated uh, out of state. Um, so, and this word that has came to me when the Lord told me you need to start packing 
um, it has never failed uh, and I will, I will begin to uh, look ahead and realize that I'm getting ready to be relocated so the word that came to me was that tidal waves and earthquake and I was thinking Lord we can't outrun that um, you can't outrun that but the Lord told me I am preserving you for my purpose I am preserving you so I need you to prepare and be ready to go and um, so I just start packing and packing and massive clothes and the Lord said you're not going to need those you only need to prepare to for winter um, winter clothing and the way um, he says this is it's almost like I will be um, in a um, in a place where it will be cold so um, this is something that is about to happen soon I just feel it uh, because the Lord has came to me the other day and he said you're not finished packing and that is true um, and I do believe that he meant that I have not prepared uh, for food and uh, and other uh, vital things that I need to carry in my backpack so um, and uh, it is something that we need to just pray and ask the Lord to show us what he wants us to do so brothers and sisters um, prepare because sudden destruction is coming upon us and we won't have time to look back we won't t have time to grab our coat we won't have time to grab our loved ones we won't have time to to uh, pack and prepare for food and to grab this and to grab that because once it comes it will be on the run we'll be running uh, for our life but the Lord said that he will preserve those and I'm not the only one. He is preserving those for his purpose. And so, um, I just want to share that with you. Um, those that who are in New York City, I'm not going to tell you to leave. That is something that you will have to pray about. But I will say those that who are not saved, you are a concern. And I will say, yes, you do need to get out. And yes, you need to pray for salvation for yourself. Because you need your soul to be saved. You need the Lord in your life. And this has been prophesied for years of this coming destruction to this land. So, love you brothers and sisters. Love one another know them by their fruits everybody who says Lord Lord is not of his you know them by their fruits because love will be the main ingredient in them main ingredient know them by their fruits not what they not what they're talking not what they're talking I don't care how well they know the word of God the devil knows the word of God too but know them by their fruits. And you can tell who they are. They will be disciples of Christ. Of the Hamashiach. Blessings unto you. In the name of the Lord. Yahshua Hamashiach. And amen. Speak with you very soon. God bless.